hello guys in this video i will talk about how you can make a frequency table and use stat summary function by the use of ggplot2 library so let's get started so this is our data set uh, we, it, it is actually a housing data set you can download from kaggle website and i will discuss one variable or column in this video so ms zone means a type of house uh, in which in in which zone it is basically a type of zone where you can find the house so what is the meaning of rl rl means low residential density and rh means high residential density and what is the meaning of residential density it means that average number of families live in one acre land and if you want to see the example uh, i so this is our images of some example so as you can see that uh, in other word you can think as low residential density is less pollution sorry less population and high residential density means a high population area in a one acre land and we know that people need house to live and of course if you go to the high residential zone you will find a close to close house in other side if you go in low residential zone will you will find the distance of house is very far so this is another very another uh, symbol c all it means that it is it is basically a type of zone uh, which which is which found near commercial and industrial area as you can see in the picture and it, this is another uh, another symbol fv so it is a zone uh, where you can find the house near the sea like beach something like that now let's let us suppose that uh, this is ravi and he want to know the frequency and he want to know how many rl how many rh and how many c all in particular column ms zone so if if you can do manually you scroll down the mouse and count each and every item of the particular column but it takes lots of time you can see that there are 1460 observation and it takes around five uh, it, it takes around half an hour hour but by the use of ggplot2 you can you can do this task in a few seconds by just writing a two line of code when you run this uh, what happens that it create a, a bar graph for you so this diagram is based on this only the six observation for for understanding purpose but uh, i will show you these things in the r studio for the 1460 observation now you will confuse that how i i write only the x axis when you run this what happens that it it first it making a group so there are three three things you can see three zone c all and rl and rh so there are three groups it made then after that it count the count the symbol so as you can see that c all symbol is only one that's why count is one similarly if you want to count other symbol like rl what is the number of rl three similarly what is the number of rh two as you can see and after that what happens that it plot the ms zone in x axis and count variable on the y axis so as you can see that it look like this i hope you understand how this gm bar function works let's go forward now let us suppose that you want to made a proportion table so if you want to make a percent convert into percentage you have to divide the uh, these things you you learn these things in your very earlier class so i don't think it is necessary to explain and it is a you convert your data into a percentage proportion table so what if you want to up plot this proportion table you have to write uh, two things first is that you have to t 
first you have to write the y is equal to it means that to first you have to write the this word dot dot prop dot dot so this is the word you have to type and of course you want to proportion table on the y axis that's why i am writing here y y is equal to and after that you have to write a group is equal to you can in write any one vector one length vector in this group option like c1 and 3.4 this is basically a same thing by default all the single one length vector automatically call the c function i don't know why it need a one length vector i will uh, discuss this option in my further video for now you just remember it when you run this what happens that it plot a graph for you here in the graph as you can see that 0.1 means a uh, 10 percent 0.3 means 30 percent and 0.5 means 50 percent and as you can see that rl is 50 percent in the graph let's see stat summary function suppose if he or suppose you want to do the some statistics and uh, you want to visualize the some statistics in your uh, by the use of ggplot2 so let us suppose that he want to see the relationship between sale price what is the relationship between this variable column ms zone with the respect of sale price let's infer the things if uh, let us suppose there are three options available to you low residential density house high residential density house house near factory what we will choose if i am there i will choose the low residential density and most of the people uh, choose this option this is very obvious thing and this information seller also know that that's why to to earn the profit he sell at a higher price and so due to this as you can uh, say that low residential density house have, have a higher sale price this is our hypothesis now i check my hypothesis so you have to type stat summary function and under parenthesis you have to put the on the x axis ms zone column and y axis sale price and uh, again uh, you can write the function a function which you apply on the y variable so i am applying the maximum function in the y y axis as you can see in the graph that low residential zone area house is at is the highest sale price so our hypothesis is correct you can do this same task by the use of box plot but but what is the special about this function is that you can write your you can use almost all the bezar function and you can also use your custom function and if you want to visualize the data with your custom function in that scenario you can use the stat summary function it is very useful in that scenario these all things i show you in r i opened the r studio first i am activating the tidyverse library so as you can see that uh, da uh, data set is uploaded now i am making a frequency table as you can see that uh, in this particular data set the number of rl rl means low residential housing zone it is very very high so it gives uh, it gives the only the frequency you can also plot the proportion table in a graphical way so as you can see that this is your uh, almost 79% of data belong to the rl table is a alternative one but uh, if you want to visualize the data in that scenario you can use the this function you can write any 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 one length vector so i am writing here a string so if you run this this 
gives you the same result as previous the alternative one you can use the instead of geom bar function you can use the stat fun stat count function it is a alternative of geom bar under the hood geom bar calls call it now i am using a stat summary function so as you can see that so this all things discussed in the slide there are built in built in variable available like fun dot y it is for the minimum function y max it is for maximum function and you can find the other option for your custom function you can visualize the data with your custom function this is not possible with the other options available like box plot so when you run this so as you can see that it gives the dot dot it means that a median median and this is your maximum point and this is a minimum point and of course the industrial area zones house preference is very low because nobody wants to buy a house near the industrial area that's why it it is a minimum in that scenario i hope you understand thank you